हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम ऑब्लिक डॉक्टर वेट चैनल इन दिस चैनल वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग लेक्चर्स इन वेटनरी साइंस एंड एनिमल हस्बेंडरी आई एम डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर एंड हेड वेटनरी मेडिसिन टुडे वी डिस्कस ए इम्पॉर्टेंट डिजीज ग्वाइटर इन एनिमल्स इन पार्ट वन वी लर्न टाइप्स ऑफ goiter based on etiology definition of goiter etiology and pathogenesis of goiter in animals this is a important endocrine disease of animals goiter in animals Goiter is a non-neoplastic enlargement of the thyroid gland. Here, enlargement of the thyroid gland is that, but it is non-inflammatory and a non-neoplastic. There is no tumor, no inflammation. There are some etiologies which give the name to the goiter. Endemic iodine deficiency diseases. it is due to iodine deficiency in some of the geographical area in india it is a sub himalayan region endemic because the number of cases are constantly occurring in particular geographical area due to iodine deficiency so name is endemic iodine deficiency disease it is a quite another name is familial this hormonogenetic goiter it is due to inherited autosomal recessive trait so it is hereditary disease here there is genetic enzyme defect in the biosynthesis of thyroid hormone so it is called as familial because hereditary genetic this hormone genetic due to genetic factor and improper biosynthesis of thyroid hormone causes goiter the goiterous condition occurring in foals it is named as congenital hypothyroidism and another name of that is dysmaturity syndrome of foals here there is hyperplasia of thyroid gland so it is a goiter here the cause is congenital so congenital hypothyroidism and in this the symptoms or the syndrome are musculoskeletal anomalies especially incomplete skeletal development so here foals are not maturing properly but there is dysmaturity syndrome in foals so it is called as dysmaturity syndrome of foals improper maturity or incomplete skeletal development friends we see here definition of goiter here there is enlargement of the thyroid gland but this enlargement are characteristic enlargement is non neoplastic and non inflammatory generally enlargements are either due to tumor or due to inflammation but here the enlargement of thyroid gland is non neoplastic and non inflammatory but here there is hyperplasia of the thyroid gland so goiter is a hyperplasia enlargement of the thyroid gland any substance or condition that affect the normal thyroid hormone metabolism produces an enlargement of thyroid gland it is called as a 
goiter. We continue the definition. Continue the definition. The goiter occur in all domestic animals and birds. It is more common in neonates and growing animals. It is most common in newborn animals, pigs, piglets, lambs, kids and calves. And it is endemic or more common in iodine deficient area. So most common cause of whiter is iodine deficiency in the animals. Here we study etiology of goiter. We know that goiter is the enlargement of the thyroid gland. The etiology may be idiopathic, means it is an individual problem. Certain individuals are suffering and certain are not. Idiopathic. Another etiology is in utero iodine deficiency or excess. If the dam is suffering from iodine deficiency or iodine excess then the fetus or the neonates of that dam suffer from goiter. Iodine deficiency is the most common etiology of goiter. Certain geographical areas such as sub-Himalayan region. The soil is deficient in iodine. So there is iodine deficiency in pasture. When animal consume such iodine deficient pasture or diet, the animal suffers from quieta. Excessive calcium also leads to decrease utilization of iodine by the animal. For example, linseed milk, it contains excessive calcium. So it also causes iodine deficiency and goiter. Continue with the etiology of goiter. Not only the iodine deficiency, but iodine toxicity also causes goiter. Ingestion of goitrogenic plants such as brassica species contain goitrogenic alkaloids that causes goiter. Goitrogenic means certain alkaloid present in the diet or plant that induces goiter. It is called as goitrogenic substances. High meat diet causes iodine deficiency and goiter, especially in dogs and cats. We have already seen familial goiter due to hereditary etiology. Congenital hypothyroidism is observed in foals and that causes dismaturity syndrome in foals. Improper skeletal development, dismaturity in force. Now we understand here pathogenesis of goiter. It is very easy to understand. We have seen many etiology, substances or condition that affect the production of normal thyroid hormone. So basic thing is an agent that affect the production of normal thyroid hormone. The result is reduction of thyroid hormone synthesis. That leads to reduction of hormone in the circulation. 
so reduced level of thyroid hormone in the blood circulation now there is reduced level of thyroid hormone in the circulation so pituitary become active and the pituitary secretes more thyroid stimulating hormone it will stimulate thyroid to produce more and more thyroid hormone because the level is very low so pituitary gives a stimulus by tsh to produce more and more production of thyroid gland but the thyroid is unable to produce sufficient thyroid hormone so the thyroid gland cells become hyperplasia and there is hyperplasia of thyroid gland so there is enlargement of the thyroid gland and the development of the goiter here there is non neoplastic and non inflammatory enlargement it is a hyperplasia of the thyroid gland so there is increase in size about two folds or sometimes three folds of the thyroid gland and that we call it as a goiter iron deficiency in animals causes goiter iron deficiency is the main cause thyroid hyperplasia hyperplasia is mainly due to iodine deficiency there are sporadic outbreaks and angiotic in certain thyroid deficient geographical area we know very well the thyroid hormone the thyroxine and triiodothyronine contain iodine item if there is deficiency of iodine then production or synthesis of this thyroxine and triiodothyronine is reduced reason is the iodine deficiency of iodine causes reduced thyroid hormone level in the blood pituitary secretes more thyroid stimulating hormone to produce more thyroid hormone and this stimulates the hyperplasia of the thyroid gland and development of the goiter the same pathogenesis work here and it is most common in newborn animals pigs lambs cows especially in iodine deficient areas so it is called as angiotic angiotic certain proportions of cases of goiter is constantly occurring in a particular iodine deficient areas especially in newborns friends goiter is important endocrine disorder main cause is the iodine deficiency please share this information to veterinary students and veterinarians subscribe the channel to promote the channel press notification bell button if you like press like button thank you very much for observing this video next time we'll come with part 2 diagnosis and treatment aspect of goiter in animals thanks